Welcome back to Velshi and Rule. This morning, the United States and Russia exited its their 32-year-old arms control agreement, the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. This move raising fears of a new arms race. Now, the pact was signed back in 1987 by President Ronald Reagan and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. It bound the two countries to destroy all launchers, training materials, and intermediate and short-range rockets to counter Cold War tensions. But the U.S. claims that Russia has been violating the treaty since 2013 during the Obama administration. Adding to the new concerns, the U.S. is also set to test a missile in the coming weeks that would have been prohibited under the treaty. Joining me to discuss this, retired four-star General Barry McCaffrey. General, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Good to be with you, Alan. What's the implication of this? Pretty serious. Uh, there's no question but that the Russians were cheating. They want a precision strike missile in the prohibited range, 500 to 5,500 kilometers, that can threaten European cities. So I think they've been working on this. They're happy to walk away from the treaty. The U.S. Uh, responded, didn't get uh, any answer in the Obama administration, so we're in a tricky situation. We've got to do something about it. Of even more concern, in 2021, the New START treaty expires. At that point, there will be no international treaties to constrain nuclear weapons and launch vehicles. A bad situation to be in. All right, so what happens? Uh, I mean, does this necessarily mark the beginning of a new arms race? Or is there some impetus to come up with more sophisticated treaties, something that will actually contain uh, this problem that you've just addressed? Well, I think the incentive is to come up with a new international treaty. I think a, a, a false start is to, to state that we're waiting to bring the Chinese in. The Chinese, for a variety of sensible strategic arguments, only have 290 nuclear weapons. Of the 14,000 around the world, 90 percent of them are U.S. and Russian. Uh, so I think the end of the day, it's got to be something where the, the Russians understand that they're diverting huge amounts of their precious resources to building up nuclear defenses or uh, attack capability that really won't have much of a payoff. And some of this stuff's on the drawing board. It's not actually going to work. Autonomous nuclear torpedoes, what's that all about? Uh, being able to attack from the southern hemisphere, uh, what difference does that make if the U.S. has no strategic response? So. To some extent, it doesn't make any rational uh, national security defense for either side to continue an arms race with nuclear devices. Uh, the, the, the folks uh, most in harm's way right now, not necessarily the United States, although uh, there is some potential for that, but it's America's NATO allies. They are people who have been looking to America since the beginning of the Trump administration with some degree of fear that as Russia has expansionist tendencies, America and the guarantee of NATO doesn't seem as strong as it did before Trump came to office. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the key. Look, I was in Europe and NATO headquarters uh, during the time in which both sides had intermediate range nuclear uh, missiles. They're very hard to defense against. The launch to target time is extremely short. They can be uh, low flying. So uh, the Europeans violently opposed U.S. deployment of intermediate range missiles, mm -hmm. never mind the Russians. So Again, I, I think that the Putin has done this deliberately. He does want an Iskander missile nuclear threat to the cities of the European Union. And we got to we got to make the argument, which is easy to make, I might mm -hmm. add, that it's not going to make Russia any safer. It's going to make them a target of British and French nuclear weapons, among other things. So the world needs to sit down, principally the U.S., and Russia and negotiate constraints on these weapons before 2021 when New START expires. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.